ever had a scar that just would not stop growing. Not red, not flat, but raised, shiny, itchy, and seems to have a mind of its own. Meet the keloid, your body's overzealous attempt to heal, gone biologically rogue. So what is this keloid, scientifically speaking? Keloids are benign fibroproliferative tumors, essentially scar tissue that grows beyond the original wound boundary. They are not just cosmetic, they can be painful, itchy, and psychologically distressing. Keloids differ from hypertrophic scars. While hypertrophic scars stay within the wound edges and may regress over time, keloids tend to invade healthy skin, persist, and they often recur after removal. So why does it happen? It happens when healing goes haywire. Normally, when we get injured, our skin follows a tight biological script, which is inflammation, proliferation, and remodeling. But in keloids, this script gets rewritten, and it's all about fibroblasts gone wild. There are three main drivers of keloids. Firstly, excessive fibroblast activity. Keloids are marked by hyperactive fibroblasts, which overproduce type 1 and type 3 collagen, fibronectin, and other extracellular matrix components. A 2013 paper in the Journal of Investigative Dermatology showed that keloid fibroblasts remain stuck in a state of chronic activation, resisting normal shutdown signals. Secondly, TGF beta signaling overdrive. TGF stands for tumor growth factor. This TGF beta 1 pathway is central to keloid formation. It stimulates fibroblast proliferation and collagen synthesis. According to Akasaka 2001 paper, TGF beta and its receptors are overexpressed in keloid tissue, amplifying fibrosis. Thirdly, inflammatory and genetic influence. Interleukin-6 and interleukin-10 also plays roles, triggering prolonged inflammation and fibroblast activity. On that note, genetic predisposition is quite clear. People with darker skin phototype, especially type 4 to 6, are at higher risk. The AHNAK gene and P53 mutations have been implicated in familial studies. Now, how common is this keloid? The prevalence is about 4.5 to 16% in darker skinned populations. And common sites are chest, shoulders, upper back, earlobes. Triggers can be piercing, burns, acne, surgical incisions, or even minor trauma. So, can we treat them? The answer is yes, but it is tricky. Keloids are stubborn and recurrence is very common. Let's break it down what's available. The first line treatment is triamcinolone acetonide, which is basically a corticosteroid. It can be sometimes combined with 5-fluorouracil, which is 5-FU. A Meta-analysis showed significant reduction in volume and symptoms, but recurrence is still hovering around 50%. Silicon gel sheet and dressings. Occlusion therapy reduces scar height and itchiness by altering hydration and tension. Works best in early stages of scars or post-surgical prophylaxis in order to prevent the keloid scars. Laser therapy, in particular pulsed dye laser or carbon dioxide laser. This type of lasers targets vascularity and collagen structure, can be combined with steroid injections to improve outcomes. Cryotherapy. So liquid nitrogen destroys fibroblasts and collagen bundles, works 
better on smaller keloids, best when combined with other treatment modalities. So what are the emerging treatments or what are the treatments in the horizon? Botulinum toxin type A is one of them, which reduces tension and down-regulates TGF beta. Interferon alpha and gamma, imikimode 5% cream, and even siRNA therapies are being investigated to silence overactive pathways. Stem cell therapy and microneedling with platelet-rich plasma shows promise, but evidence is still limited. Keloids remind us that even the healing process can be uncontrolled and rogue. Tip the balance and the body builds a fortress it never needed. If you are prone to keloids, prevention is key. Avoid unnecessary piercing, manage acne early, and talk to your doctor before elective procedures. And if you already have them, don't worry. We have got options. Science is catching up with scars. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Every scar has a story. Let's help the scar heal right.